Silverback Green Greg here. So you may be wondering how difficult is it to operate a hybrid hot water heater? Well, it's very simple and easy to set it and forget it, but I'm going to go over with you right now. Okay, let's go over the operating modes. So you'll notice that right now we have the set at energy saver mode. This is the mode that comes uh, when shipped from the factory. And I recommend for most people to keep it on this mode. The energy saver mode operates the compressor and the electric heat elements and results in water heater performance that meets energy star requirements and helps save you money. The heat pump operation will be maximized and electric elements will be minimalized for the most savings. Okay, by pressing mode, we get the next setting. The high demand mode, this mode will maximize the performance of the water heater while providing good energy savings. It will run both the heat pump and the electrical element at the same time to provide the most hot water. Okay, we press the mode button again. The heat pump only mode will only run the heat pump only and not the backup electrical elements. This mode will minimize power consumption, but in certain cases may result in less hot water or longer time to heat the hot water. However, it might be suitable if you're in a really hot climate. It could help you maximize savings. The next mode is electric only mode. This mode should only be used in case the heat pump needs to be serviced, then the electrical element only will be operating so you can still have hot water. However, this will also consume the most electricity. So again, you only want to operate this if the heat pump needs to be serviced. It's a way for you to continue to get hot water. And finally, vacation mode. If you're going to be away from home for a long time, you could turn on the vacation mode. And what this will do is this will minimize the power consumption, but still maintain your tank at 82 degrees so you don't have to worry about uh, freezing. But again, normally you should have it set at the energy saver mode most of the time. And you just sit there and forget it. And then lastly, you can adjust your temperature with these up and down arrows, okay? Uh, the normal setting is about 120 degrees, that's normal. I don't recommend out of the 120 because you or someone could get scalded, uh, but 120 is a normal temperature uh, to wash your dishes, etc. By the way, there is an app available also, and this will give you um, some alerts in case you have any leaks or energy uses report or if you want to do daily scheduling. I know. So I hope you found this video helpful. Hey, if you want to know more about Ream Hybrid Hot Water Heaters, hey, I have a special discount for my audience only. So check out the pinned comments for more information and for the discount code. Solar by Green Greg here, and on this channel we cover home solar PV and battery, solar pool heating, and energy efficiency. And I do it all without any clickbait or sales talk. Listen... <laughs> I've been in the solar industry now for 17 years. So I know all the tips and the tricks and gimmicks, but I'm also a homeowner just like you. I now know how it is. You know, sometimes you're just trying to get information, right? If that's you, you're just trying to get information, hey, you're in the right spot. Go ahead, hit that thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Here's the next video. Bye-bye for now.